most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeron. Hi, everybody. Uh, it is uh, well almost the weekend and uh, it's going to be a little wet this weekend. So uh, today going to be the calm before the storm. It looks nice, but it is going to be chilly. We had a front come through last night as we check out Cedar Cliff High School here. 34 degrees. It is chilly. It feels like winter time. It's very dry too. dew points are in the teens. And so uh, you might need the chapstick here today. It's dry. It feels like winter. It's going to be sunny. Yesterday we were right on the average of uh, 57, and uh, I think today we are going to be about 10 degrees cooler than that. It may be a struggle to get out of the 40s. We continue to see a trend toward a three inch rainfall deficit as well, but we will try to make up for that at least a little bit, not much, but a little bit Friday and Saturday. So the front coming through last night with some gusty winds, maybe a few showers, and now we have clearing skies, but it is still windy and it's chilly this morning too, down to 32 in York, Chambersburg at 32, Harrisburg and Lancaster more so in the mid 30s. The front has yet to hit Philly, likely dropping to into the mid 30s later on Baltimore and DC in the 40s. Uh, but I think we could drop another degree or two here and most of us will be underneath that freezing mark uh, in the next couple of hours. Over the last 24 hours, the temperatures have dropped by about five to 10 degrees, so probably going to be our coldest morning of the week and our coldest day of the week. You know, uh, sitting outside last evening, uh, the breeze was uh, chilly and it felt chilly. And I think tonight, although it may be less breezy, it is going to be chillier and the wind's still whipping around right now behind the front anywhere from five to 15 miles an hour. So I anticipate a breezy start to the day with the winds dying down a bit as we move into the afternoon and the evening. Uh, but don't get used to that. The winds are coming back with a vengeance here as we move into the weekend. So clearly we can see the progression of this front moving through New England with some snow squalls, some rain showers for us and now moving out. I saw the PennDOT signs were out saying about snow squalls. Uh, -uh it's done. You can ignore those, uh, but we do have some wind speeds here uh, producing some lake effect clouds. But for the most part, high pressure is moving in and we can see how clear it is behind the front. So breezy and chilly today, especially this morning. Temperatures, though, will be stuck in the 40s. It will be perfectly sunny. And then we've got some storminess developing in the center part of the country because of this clash between warm and cold air. It is springtime and some severe weather over the next couple of days could get very active in the central part of the country. Then some showers for us locally by tomorrow afternoon in tomorrow evening, but I do want to point out the severe weather threat tomorrow and uh, we are starting to see some higher risk areas in Iowa and Illinois and another one in Arkansas, parts of the Tennessee Valley and Missouri. This area here and what a in an elongated area it is, is where we would expect damaging winds, hail, and especially in these red circles, uh, tornadoes and tornado outbreaks. We will be keeping a close watch on that for the Midwest tomorrow. Luckily, at this point, we don't think it translates to any severe weather here, but there will be rain. So perfectly sunny today. It will be breezy at times. And then as we look off to the west, some clouds try to roll in tonight, but I think we still get some sunshine to start tomorrow. And then a few light showers in the afternoon, uh, giving way to a steadier rain tomorrow overnight. And then Saturday, we're going to get two rounds of rain, one in the morning, then we're going to get a break. OK, and then we get another round in the evening before this thing exits. And I don't expect a lot of rain with this now. I would say right around a half inch over the two days between tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, and then whatever is left on Saturday. So right around a half inch of rain on average. Now, the other big story is going to be the wind here that will die down as we move into this afternoon. But watch what happens tomorrow. We start to see the winds pick up in the afternoon from the south and west. Uh, pretty gusty here tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. And then even worse on Saturday, Saturday, the winds really mean business, especially during the second half of the day. Look at these winds here as the actual front comes through uh, 15 to 25 to even close to 30 miles an hour. So Saturday is going to be windy and a bit damp 49 today, chilly, breezy, can't shake the winds right tonight down to 36, partly cloudy skies. And then the winds really going to be the big story here again, Friday and Saturday. So some sunshine to start tomorrow, and then we'll follow that up with some afternoon and evening showers, windy and warm with rain on Saturday, but there will be breaks in the middle chunk of the day. Now I think is going to be dry 72 degrees down to 51 then on Sunday. But after that, look at that warm up next week. Some more spring like weather headed our way here with temperatures in the mid 70s. It's going to be nice. good. It's, yeah, it's a shame it's coming with the rain. It is, but but next week drier and mid 70s. We'll, we'll take that and and okay. keep in mind now. I do think midday Saturday we're going to we're going to get some breaks, so you'll have some time to get outside. All right. Yep. Thank you, Brett. Mm -hmm. It is time for this morning's social.